Today, we're going to talk about the top eight ways to die when working with typical machine shop equipment. And if you can think of any others that you think should have made it to this list, let us know in the comments. Number eight, unsafe lifting. When using a crane, forklift, or other lifting device, you should always consider where your body is in relationship to the load. Always assume that the load is just about to fall and never be in a position where you could potentially have thousands of pounds crush you to death or cost you a limb. Even when you're using all the best practices for lifting, chaos is always lurking around every corner just waiting for you to slip up. It's human nature that when you drop something, you try to catch it. But in a machine shop, you should always be ready to jump out of the way or run away instead. Number seven, overriding safety devices. Safety devices can be a pain to deal with. In an industry where seconds of cycle time matters, it can be very tempting to override safety doors and other mechanisms in an effort to be more productive. Unfortunately, this contributes to loads of dangerous situations, injuries, and death. I remember one time a machinist called me over to ask me about a surface finish, and as I rubbed my finger on the side of the part towards the end mill, he warned me that the spindle was on. My finger had gotten less than an inch away from the tool, and I hadn't even noticed it. I had no clue how close I had gotten to almost losing a finger, if not my whole hand, arm, or life. All safety devices are put in place for a reason, and most of the time, the reason is that someone was injured in the past by the lack of that safety device. And sometimes there are safety rules that are in place for the same reason. Like never run a machine alone. If you're by yourself and something happens, you can't call for help, and many people have died by ignoring rules just like this one. Number six, jewelry. Have you ever noticed that most machinists don't wear any jewelry? No watches, no necklaces, bracelets, earrings, or even wedding rings. Any piece of jewelry can cause a snag hazard, and if a chip from a lathe grabs your ring or necklace, it's gonna pull you right into the tool, stock, chuck, or spindle, and twist you up like a pretzel. Best case scenario, you lose a finger. It just isn't worth the risk. Number five. Loose clothing and long hair. Long sleeves, jackets, scarves, apron strings, and hair can get caught in a rotating component on a machine, and in an instant, your entire body gets sucked into it and is completely destroyed. These machines are meant to cut metal. They will turn your entire body into hamburger and never even register it on the spindle load meter. It really is tragic when this happens because there's no warning. One second you're running a machine, and literally a second later, you're dead. I remember once when my shirt got caught on a machine and it was really confusing because it felt like someone was just slowly pulling on my shirt. Then it takes a second to realize what's actually happening. Now lucky for me it was just the handle on a manual mill equipped with an auto feed, so it wasn't something spinning super fast and I had the time to shut the auto feed off. But had this been a lather mill spindle, it would have been game over before I even knew there was a problem. I told a story in another video about when a woman I worked with got her hair stuck in a machine and she almost died because of it. If you have long hair, make sure to wear it up in a way that prevents it from getting wrapped around something while you work. What the? It says here that 78.2% of you guys out there watching our content aren't subscribed. We just hit 500,000 subscribers and if you would have clicked subscribe, we'd probably already be at a million. It's not that hard. Do your part and click the subscribe button. Boom. Number four. Split second decisions. Sometimes things can go wrong really fast. And when you have a split second to decide what to do, sometimes you don't consider that you're putting yourself in a potentially dangerous situation. There have been a few times where I've very narrowly avoided serious injury when attempting to save less than a $10 part or piece of material. In my dad's shop, we kept a bunch of sheet metal leaned up against the wall. One day while looking through it, the entire stack started to fall towards me. Now this was a bunch of five foot by 10 foot stainless sheets, around 50 of them, and I thought I could catch it. I was wrong. Both of my knees bent backwards and luckily I fell out of the way as the material fell. My knees have never been the same since and that was 20 years ago. Number three, negligence. I've seen several times where a shop just doesn't have the equipment necessary to do a job safely, but the job has to get done anyway. Jesse and I were just talking earlier today about a shop he worked at that had a long bar hanging out of the lathe, and as the spindle spun up, the bar bent, and actually took a guy's head completely off. And most of us have seen this same scenario, fortunately minus the decapitation. 
When this happens, it can make the entire machine jump off the floor from the centrifugal force. Sometimes the bar breaks and becomes an extremely high speed projectile. If you don't have what you need to do a job safely, then don't do the job. Number two, getting too comfortable. This is something that happens over time. Most of us are terrified of CNC machines in the beginning and rightfully so. But as time goes on, you can start to lose that healthy fear and start doing things like sanding apart as it spins in a lathe chuck and oops, you pinched the sandpaper too hard and now it sucks your thumb into the bar and now your arm is a twisted up mess with a hundred more joints than it used to have. Always remember how dangerous these machines are. I always recommend the new guys to Google machining accidents because there are some horrible images out there that will stick with you a long time. But as horrific as it can be to look at, it really does drive the point home. Number one, messing with another machinist's parts. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Check out CNC Expert, our new platform for machinists by machinists. You can showcase your work. You can find prospective employees. You can find prospective jobs. You can find people to quote work for you. You can connect with other machinists. It's an awesome platform. You guys really need to check it out. And check out our online store. You can buy the same tooling we use in our videos at a big discount. And your purchases help us keep doing what we do. Help the trade rise to greatness. Be safe out there, and I'll see you guys soon.